the real time real estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com rsrmoney.com are home prices going up or down depends media coverage about what's happening with home prices can be confusing a large part of that is due to the type of data being used and what they're choosing to draw attention the media choosing what they're going to pick the surprise surprise for home prices, there are two different methods used to compare home prices over different time periods. Year over year and month over month, here's an explanation of each. Year over year, this comparison measures the change in home prices from the same month or quarter in the previous year. For example, if you're comparing year over year home prices for April 2023, you compare them to home prices for April 2022. Year over year comparisons focus on changes over a one-year period, providing a more comprehensive view of long-term trends. They're usually useful for evaluating annual growth rate and determining if the market is generally appreciating or depreciating. Month over month, this comparison measures the change in home prices from one month to the next. For instance, if you're comparing month over month prices for April 2023, you compare them to the prices for March 2023. Meanwhile, month over month comparisons analyze changes within a single month, giving a more immediate snapshot of short-term movements and price fluctuations. They're often used to track immediate shifts in demand and supply, seasonal trends, or the impact of specific events on the housing market. Key difference between year-over-year and month-over-month comparisons lies in the time frame being assessed. Both approaches have their own merits and serve different purposes depending on the specific analysis required. Why is this distinction so important right now? We're about to enter a few months when pro- home prices could possibly be lower than they were the same month last year. April, May, and June 2022 were three of the best months for home prices in the history of the American housing market. And those same months this year might not measure up. That means the year-over-year comparison will probably show values are depreciating. The numbers for April seem to suggest that's what we'll see in the months ahead. If you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, any of our socials or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, you're seeing a chart right now of what these prices look like, single-family homes from 2020, uh, April, May, and June. The, the, that'll generate trouble headlines at some... Diana Olick, listen, you better learn this stuff because I know you don't know anything about real estate and you report it all the time. That'll generate troubling headlines that say, home values are falling. That'll be accurate on a year-over-year basis. And those headlines will lead consumers to believe that home values are currently cascading downward. However, on a closer look at month-over-month home prices, we can see prices have actually been appreciating for the last several months. Those month-over-month numbers more accurately reflect what's truly happening with home values after several months of depreciation. It appears we've hit bottom and are bouncing back. Here's an example of month-over-month home price movements for the last 16 months from CoreLogic Home Price Insights. Yes, we did see a few months there where the prices went down, but there's a lot more times when the prices are going up. Why does this matter to you? If you're hearing negative headlines about home prices, remember they may not be painting the full picture. For the next few months, we'll be comparing prices to last year's record peak, and that may make the year-over-year comparisons feel more negative. But if we look at the more immediate month-over-month trends, we can see home prices are actually on the way back up. There's an advantage to buying a home now. You'll buy at a discount from last year's prices before prices start to pick up even more momentum. It's called buying at the bottom, really? And that's a good thing. Bottom line, if you have questions about what's happening with home prices or if you're ready to buy before prices climb higher, give me a call at 800-306-1990. 800 306 1990. That's the real time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com.